Ladies and gents, welcome to Six Figs. I'm Kyle, and in today's video, we're talking CKB, Nervos Network, Ecosystem News, and the charts. So, we had an interesting tweet dropped by Steve Crusher, baby. Now, he was saying the CKB having is becoming visible. CKB is becoming even scarcer. And this is interesting stuff here, because you can see the amount of CKB being burnt is increasing but what i also thought was interesting is that on steve's chart you could also see how it seems like the release of ckb since there was a halving in november has decreased or and you can kind of see this on the graph you can kind of see how this is starting to playing off so that is a good uh sign uh in circulating supply you know it's it's just going up because the miners are getting uh, rewards and things like that. So I think that at this point, it's good that the having happened and that we are starting to see some of this stuff kind of playing out. Uh, CKB Dev drops some cool stuff. Team CKB is wrapping up 2023 with some updates. They launched a new command line interface for enhanced user experience, added fresh practical examples for using CKB auth, plus a good read on how CKB is gearing up for quantum resistance. Cryptape, folks. I've met a lot of these people. Uh, very smart people at Cryptape. Uh, I love them all. Uh, but they wrote a very cool article on this quantum resistance stuff and why Sphinx Plus uh, is very uh, like the go-to as far as being quantum resistance, things like that. So basically security, it's a signature scheme based on hash functions and hash chains designed to withstand attacks from quantum computing. Its utilization of the structure of hash functions makes it challenging for attackers to expedite cracking of the signatures through quantum algos. Simplicity and efficiency in comparison to some complex PQC solutions, Sphinx Plus boasts a relatively straightforward algorithm ensuring efficient implementation. This simplicity is particularly crucial for on-chain scripts running ckbm so a lot of these uh on-chain scripts that are running the ckbm you know can benefit from this obviously you know quantum computing is a big time threat to security um one thing i wanted to kind of point out uh that i didn't realize had been published was back on december 11th 2023 ckb and risk v unlocking the unprecedented blockchain programmability article was dropped and this was a sponsored article and i believe it was by nervos network so it is good to see that they are starting to reach out and um kind of get their name out there advertising and and running these awesome articles so i'll throw a link to this in the description uh and the pinned comment uh, but that is cool uh, also, if you are new to Nervos Network, check out Nervos Nation on Telegram, folks. Uh, this is like the heart blood of the community. It's kind of where everybody gathers, and it's a great place for you to ask questions, things like that. So a lot of great people in here at Nervos Nation. Uh, big time camaraderie. Uh, the, the markets are down, folks. CKB is down 6.2% on the day. Eh, that's not as bad as a lot of these other projects. Uh, but Nervos Network, uh, chilling at a cool rank, 277. Not bad, not bad. So right now, we're sitting at $145 million market cap. So this is, to me, is like still one of those crypto gems. Like, we're right in that Goldilocks zone of, uh, you, know, a, a, you know, 10, 20, 30x could be possible down the road. Um, but... When we look at the charts, folks, uh, this is the daily Binance chart. Uh, there is some things going on, and this is happening across the board. We have seen this development of rising wedges, and we have seen these things form. Off the top of my head, there's one on the ICP chart. There's one on the Elrond chart. I do believe that there might even be one on the Ethereum chart. And there's probably a lot more of these things out there. Uh, but rising wedges are somewhat bearish uh, patterns to be seen. On the daily chart, people are buying this dip above the 50 moving average right at these levels, 0.00338-ish, somewhere in there. And price action is respecting this lower trend line so far. 
Uh, so that is a good a good thing to be seen. One thing that we will see going into like the bull markets, sometimes we will see price action. If the asset is very strong, uh, we will see it break uh, bearish patterns and vice versa. In the in the bear market, sometimes you can see uh, you know bullish pr uh, patterns and things like that get absolutely broken down. Obviously, there's a lot going on here in the news right now, folks, with all this Bitcoin ETF stuff. And to be honest with you, like I don't know why people really care. This whole decentralized world, it, it, it was basically designed to get away from Wall Street, get away from all this centralized stuff. Of course, if hundreds of billions of dollars get flooded into crypto, um, you know, it's definitely going to pump the bags. But I mean, at the same time, we don't want to lose sight of, you know, what this all started out, like this movement started out to be. Um, so yeah, right now things are looking okay for CKB. We're just going to check this out on a four hour chart because I'm starting to see that there could have been <clears throat> a harmonic pattern that could have filled out. Looks like I don't know if there was or not. <clears throat> it's just nothing there. Uh, but I do think that there could be almost this completion of an A, B, C, D, E corrective wave that could possibly have hit. And I do think that on this four-hour chart, it almost looks like this 50 moving average is going to come down and hit this 200 moving average. And when that happens, this will be a completed death cross. Now, it sounds scary, but a lot of times death crosses can be bullish. A lot of times golden crosses can be bearish. Um, and I've talked about this time and time again. Here's an example of a golden cross right here. You can see price action reversed and took a dump. Um, you know, it just is what it is. Whatever the market sentiment is, uh, is what, uh, you know, we'll get. Now, here's an example of a death cross right here. You can see price ripped upwards. So it, it is what it is, folks. Uh, we won't know until we know. But for now, we are, are tracking this rising wedge with CKB. And if this thing does play out, let's just say it, it plays out uh, and it doesn't get broken down. Bear with me. I'm looking for possibly, possibly a breakdown to this 0.00311-ish region or if things get bad, 0 0.002826. Now, I would hope that we wouldn't skip down to this level because this is like back down to bear market levels. And I'm really hoping that we see a bounce off this 50 moving average, or off this 50 uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement level. And uh, like I said, if things get real bad, maybe a bounce off the 61.8. But... You know, typically this is a very small, very small pattern. I mean, this pattern is only like a month and a half long, somewhere in there. So it's not going to really produce like crazy, crazy moves like we would see like off a year long, two year long pattern that's developing. So I do think that, um, you know, if we do get the bounce off the 50 or the 61 eight. You know, there's some things that we need to, let's just say that this thing comes down to the 61.8. There's some things that we need to be aware of, and that could be a possibility of a head and shoulders pattern or something like that uh, to develop. Uh, but right now, um, you know, if you ask me, there still is a decent shot at maybe some sort of cup and handle uh, to really play out. Um, I just want to look at some gone fans here as well because I do think that this is going to be important and it will provide us with a very nice view of where the markets could possibly be going and where we might be seeing some uh, potential support and resistance. Okay, so we got that up. Bear with me one second. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to throw up a little vertical line right here. There we go. Okay. And this is really interesting stuff, folks, because when we start talking about gone fans, 
like it really shows us some hidden secrets to the chart. It's just fascinates me. Uh, so here we go. And you can see how right now we're already seeing price action just couldn't break through this gone fan. We're going to throw up the bottom one and see what pops up. And so what I always like to do when we look at the gone fans, folks, is we need to really make sure that price action is obeying the gone fans after we set them up because, you know, we can see resistance here, resistance here, support here, uh, a little bit of tangling with this trend line here, resistance here, uh, you know, support right there. So right now, I can tell you that I'm pretty confident in this gone fan. Um, what I would like to see happen here, and this could be um, what happens. We don't know until we know. Uh, but I would like to see a little bit of a bounce and maybe squeeze into this symmetrical triangle trend line area uh, of, C of the uh, gone fans. And I would love, this is what I would love to see from here. Because at this point, if we get the bounce there and we can get a return to these um, highs right up to like the 4.0042 ish level. Uh, if as long as we can get these highs to keep going lower or these lows to keep going higher, uh, we might be able to squeeze out something like this. Excuse me, something like this to happen, and we might be able to see an ascending triangle or something like that play out. And then we might be able to see price action start testing some of these higher gone fan lines. Uh, but, folks, if this thing does break down, uh, be prepared to see a 0 .00. Be prepared to see a, excuse me, 0 .0031-ish level. Uh, 0 .003-ish level, especially going into the second, third week of January. But I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'm hoping... Once we get this death cross here, uh, that we see a nice little pump to the upside. But we could be seeing something like this play out. Um, but, uh, yeah, if I had to guess, this thing's probably going to trade in between 0 .0042 and 0 .0030 here within the next uh, week or two. Uh, we just need to figure out if we get this bounce off the 2 to 1. And if we squeeze or if we go for the possible ascending triangle, or maybe we'll even get some double tops. You never know. Uh, at this point, it's just kind of uh, iffy. So I love you guys all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on CKB. Stay in touch. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on the project. Love you guys, and we'll see you on the next video.